But what's the story? What story are you trying to tell? After hearing these questions again and again, I decided to go on a quest, like a data hero's journey, to find the key, the secret, to conquer that mysterious and most coveted magical skill of telling stories. The answers that I did find were not exactly what I expected. You see, learning to tell great stories doesn't actually come from telling stories at all. It's actually about learning to hear stories. It's about learning to see what is the core essence of the story and all of the little details that bring it to life. And it's about learning to recognize and understand what the story is about. So, do you want to hear a story? Well, I've got a pretty good one for you. It's been told and retold for many, many years in just as many places. In fact, it's one you've probably heard at least once or twice before. If you're traveling on the US 70, just outside of Jamestown, you might see a lady in a white dress standing by the side of the road. Don't stop for her. If you do, she'll climb into the back seat and tell you that her name is Lydia. She'll tell you that she's just been to a dance and now she's just trying to get home. But when you get to the address that she gave you, you'll notice that there isn't anyone in your back seat anymore or anywhere nearby. If you're the curious sort, you'll probably try to find some answers inside the house. But let me tell you, you won't find any that you like. When the old woman answers the door, you'll tell her your story, and she'll nod like she isn't too surprised, and then show you a picture. It's a picture of her. She'll go on to tell you that Lydia was her daughter, but she died in a car wreck by that stretch of highway where you picked her up in 1923. You're not the first one, and you probably won't be the last. I guess she's still just trying to get home. Lydia might be one of the most famous vanishing hitchhikers, at least in the US, but variations on the legend of the vanishing hitchhiker can be found all around the world. It's a perfect example of how a story survives and evolves through every retelling. But for a story to be able to survive like this, it requires that the central core remains stable while the details get changed everywhere and every time the story is told. So for the story of the vanishing hitchhiker, the stable core is made up of three main stages in the plot. A stranger asks to be taken somewhere. On the way there, the stranger disappears. And at the end, the driver somehow finds out the truth that the stranger was not a living being. But then all the other details vary with almost every retelling. So the location would of course be different, but so could the place that the stranger is picked up and even the mode of the ride. In most American versions, it's a car, but there are also older versions where it's a wagon or even a horse. The character of the driver is different in every story. Usually it's a young man, but sometimes it's a couple or a family. The hitchhiker is usually a female, but the cause of her death and the reason for her return can change. And the way the driver discovers the truth about the stranger can also change. If you're from the LA area, you might have heard it this way. This actually happened to a guy I know. He and his friend were in a bar in downtown Los Angeles, and they met a young woman there. She asked them if they take her home because she lived in the same neighborhood, which was Belvedere Gardens. So they all got in the car, and she sat in the back seat. It was a very cold night, so she borrowed one of their coats. When they reached the Evergreen Cemetery, though, she asked them if they'd stop for a minute. So they stopped and let her out. They waited, and waited, and then waited some more. When she didn't come back after a while, they thought she had stolen the coat. They got a bit aggravated and went out to look for her. They went into the cemetery and looked around. That's when they saw the overcoat draped over a headstone. So what's the story about? Well, it's about the dangers we face every day on the road. This could happen on any road to any driver that decides to pick up a hitchhiker. But ultimately, it's a story about stranger danger. See, the thing about people that you don't know is you can never truly tell who or what they really are. Oh, you mean what's my story about? 
Well, if you're seeing this, then it means you've stuck around and that you've heard my story. So what does it mean? Well, I think it's your turn now. How closely have you been listening?